So this section of the Spinning Vicar is going to be looking at a psalm. It's Psalm 23. It's one that is familiar to most people. And I'm not going to be uh, spinning on my bicycle at quite so high speed as usual because I've got to be able to read the psalm out to you and read various bits. So that's my excuse for not doing um, a massive, massive cycle as I do this session. However, when we're finished, I will be doing a massive session. So don't think you can get away from, from doing exercise completely just because you're doing some praying as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to read Psalm 23. It's easy on the bicycle to have um, a little book sitting in front of you. And then I'm going to read out some of those sentences that refer to us. So I, I have all that I need, for example. So all the sentences in the first person. And then I'm going to do the same saying the third person, the he. So it's basically um, helping us to reflect on how we feel about God, what he gives us. Um, in different ways, thinking about it in the first person and the third person. And then I'm going to say the whole psalm again and we'll finish with a prayer. So here we go, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honour to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honour me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. So I'm gonna read through again reading out the sections in the first person. And if you want to listen to me and just think what the psalm is saying to you in that context, please go ahead. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. I will live in the house of the Lord forever. And then we think about the third person. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths. So I'm just going to do that again, the I and the he, and just really think what that's saying to you. The Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. 
I will live in the house of the Lord forever. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths. So I wonder what spoke to you in that setting. I think for me, um, I'm doing a lot of thinking at the moment about what I'm going to do after my curacy. Um, I feel very, very drawn to working with um, the marginalised, the oppressed to some extent. Um, and the parish I'm in is, it's, it's lovely, but it's very, very comfortable. And I, I like it, but I do feel I'm being called away to do something else. And it's, um, it can be quite painful, really. <laughs> and you probably understand that if you've been somewhere and you're very, very settled and you feel you, you're having to take a leap and do something else. So um, it's, it's not a bad thing, but um, it's certainly a lot of thought that I will be doing over the next few weeks and months about that. So I think what really spoke to me was, um, he renews my strength, he guides me along right paths. I'm not sure where the path is leading me, but if I pray and put my trust in him, I'm sure that I will get to the right path. And I think just another one of the I phrases, when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. Um, that, that speaks a lot to people, doesn't it? You know, when you're ill. I think in my situation, I'm not walking through a dark valley, but um, <clears throat> I'm having to think through a lot of things. So it will speak to me. So perhaps uh, when this session is over, you might just like to get your Bibles and, and look through Psalm 23 again and maybe repeat what we've done together. And I'm just going to finish off by saying the whole Psalm again. It is a prayer in itself, isn't it? So <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to finish with a final prayer. So let's just... Be still, I'm going to stop cycling and listen to the words of this lovely psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honour to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honour me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening. Bye for now.